the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 166 to Kings 6 to 8. Elisha's prophet Shukr. At the moment of a crisis, when Aram surrounded Samaria, God delivered North Israel through wonderful miracles. First point. Elisha set up a school for his student prophets to teach them about a kingdom of priests. Elisha, who took after Elijah, gathered his student prophets in North Israel and tried his best to make sure that God's word was learned. Some of Elisha's students proposed moving to Jordan in order to make more room for study. Elisha said yes to this proposal. However, in the process of cutting down trees in the Jordan, one of them dropped the borrowed iron axe head into the water. At this, Elisha performed the miracle of making the axe head float out of the water. But this miracle was not to stop a simply being impressive. It was important to understand just how poor the people of God in North Israel lived. The prophets of Baal and Asherah at the time lived a plentiful life supported by the people, but God's prophets lived a difficult life. Second point, God granted his miracle to North Israel by saving them from the attack from the Aram army. Aram attacked North Israel, and so war broke out between the two countries. Because of Elisha's prediction, Aram lost once again. The king of Aram decided to capture Elisha by sending his soldiers. When Elisha was surrounded by the Aram army, Elisha's servant became afraid. So Elisha showed God's fire chariot to calm him down. Now, the Aram soldiers surrounded the Dothan area to capture Elisha, and the chariot of fire surrounded the Aram army. Elisha prayed to God to blind the Aram soldiers. God heard Elisha's prayer and blinded them. Elisha lured the soldiers into the Samaria wars. And instead of killing them, he sent them back after hosting them. Through this instance, Aram learned of God's power, and they were unable to attack North Israel. Third point, Samaria, who grew away from a kingdom of priests, was punished according to the laws written in Leviticus. After some time passed, Aram forgot about the past instance of Naaman and God's grace and once again attacked North Israel. They came for Samaria again. This caused serious inflation inside Samaria. There was a great famine in the city. The siege lasted so long that a donkey's head sold for 80 shekels of silver and a quarter of a cup of seed poured for five shekels. Israel paid one silver shekel for a laborer's four-day wages. So we can see just how hefty 80 silver shekels for a donkey's head equated to. Such punishment was given to the people of North Israel for their sin of worshipping idols. All this was forewarned in Leviticus. As recorded in Leviticus, the people had to receive their punishment for not following a kingdom of priests. When such misfortune took place in North Israel, the king very foolishly started to blame Elisha and tried to kill him. The reason he blamed Elisha was firstly because Elisha had cured Naaman from Aram. Secondly, 
Elisha had previously warned of Aram's attack, but he did not this time. Thirdly, he blamed Elisha for letting the Aram soldiers go unscathed the last time. Fourth point, through Elisha, God gave Samaria another chance. Through Elisha, God told the people of Samaria that they would recover financially. This predicted the end of the Aram seas. But a general who did not believe Elisha spoke out. In this situation, four people who were suffering from leprosy heard that the Aram soldiers were returning. During the time, the four people with leprosy went to the camp of the Arameans. God caused the soldiers to hear the sound of the chariots and the horses and live with fear in their hearts. When the four people with the leprosy saw that the camp was empty, they went to report this to the city. When this good news reached North Israel, the king checked for himself. This was all according to the words of Elisha. As for the general, who did not believe Elisha, he went out of the city and while trying to maintain order, he died from being trampled by the hungry people. Fifth point, due to Elijah's mission to Elisha, Elisha went to Aram. After the war with Aram, Elisha went to visit Damascus. At the time, Benadad was ill, and so he made Hazael take gifts to Elisha to ask whether he would be able to recover. When Elisha met Hazael, he predicted that Hazael was to be the next king. When Hazael heard this, he killed Benadad and became king. Elijah's prediction that Hazael would become king came true in the days of Elisha. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyango Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zo is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.